Episode 40, and the series finale is The End of the Galaxy. In this episode, with only one planet left, Wander, Sylvia, and a group of rebels make one last stand against Dominator. And meanwhile, Lord Hader devises a plan to stop her from destroying that planet. This is it everyone, the last hurrah, the grand finale of Wander Over Yonder. As a season finale, it's really good. But as a series finale, it's a bit of a letdown. However, you can't fault the crew for that because they were informed of the cancellation too late into the storyline process of the season to make any big changes. So taking this episode for what it is rather than what it could be, it's enjoyable. It wraps up the Dominator saga really well and does things that were long overdue in this season, such as Dominator and Wander finally interacting and Dominator actually doing something at least halfway interesting with her ice powers. Lord Hader is the freaking highlight of this episode though, because he is super competent and badass in this episode, even making his season 1 self look like a chump. It comes right the fuck out of nowhere without any explanation or justification, but none of that matters because it is fucking glorious. On the other hand, things are wrapped up incredibly quickly after Dominator is dealt with. Like, there's literally less than a minute left after she is defeated. It's nuts. Again, blame Disney for the late notice and the pulling the fucking plug on this show in the first place. The bigger issue is the Rebels. Pretty much every minor character bar Brad, Ryder, and of course fucking Leslie show up, but they don't actually do anything. We don't get to see them fight the Dombots on screen, they barely interact with each other, and hell, only a couple of them even get lines. This was an issue in The Rager, as I mentioned in that review, so maybe the crew just has trouble managing so many characters at once? Bottom line is, even though it could have been better, the finale is still a solid send-off for the show. Don't you do it, Bingle Bop! Don't you dare fall to Dominator! First off, it's Bingo Borp. And second off, if they couldn't do anything against a single Dombot, let alone Hater, there's no way in hell they're gonna be able to do shit to Dominator. No! She did it! Dominator destroyed every single planet in the flapping galaxy! Wow, the villain actually accomplished their goal, and in this case, it's complete galactic annihilation. Not many non-godlike villains can claim to have succeeded in that scale of destruction. We're finished. Duh, it's the series finale. I did it! I played this stupid galaxy like a fiddle, then smashed that fiddle across their dumb little faces! Or a banjo. I crushed all your hopes and then I watched you. party or a funeral? Well, I guess it's kind of a funeral for them. Yeah, I wonder how many people Dominator ended up killing in this quest. Activate celebration protocol Omega. So do all giant Dombots have balloons and confetti stored in their foreheads? No more dopey little planets to destroy. No more annoying adorable idiots to antagonize. It's over. Even someone like Dominator knows Wander is adorable. And here is where we start to see her vulnerabilities. This is a very interesting take on the destruction-loving sadist villain types. Sure, they have the twisted sense of fun going about it, but it's only a temporary power trip, because once you blow up and kill everything, you're left with nothing and run into the same problem Plankton did when he hid in a dollar. I don't know. I never thought I'd get this far. Look, a shooting star. I don't blame Dominator for shooting that shooting star. The green star missions in Super Mario Galaxy sucked. They were just a way to artificially pad out the game. Oh, it's not the same! What I wouldn't give for one more planet to destroy. Yeah, and then after that, you're gonna want one more planet. Now, I knew the secret planet was going to be the one planet remaining, but part of me was hoping it was going to be C. Saronicus 12 so Beep Boop's sacrifice wouldn't be in vain. Yet here we are. Hey, you didn't give the password. It's that monkey stole my juice box. 
Vengeance! Dominator destroyed my planet! My people have fled the galaxy! I want to know exactly what you heroes intend to do about it! King Binglebore has had it up to here with this Dominator BS. Dominator has driven us from our homes and kept us on the run for an entire season of our lives. Nice. Glad to see that fourth wall joke in the finale. Look at that group shot of minor characters. You won't find Wesley there, but you'll find pretty much everyone else, and they really pulled out the history books for some of these. We got the Biker Gang, William Wimperson, and Papa Doom from The Bad Guy, the Neon Knight of Nalpraxis Mitch in Dragor the Distractible from The Epic Quest, a gelatinous Bob animatronic, and the elderly man who hater taught how to email a JPEG from the Emergency From Fract, the hungry bunny in one of the pigs whose city was destroyed by a kaiju in The Good Deed, the pit monster from The Birthday Boy, and... Blue? Feel like that was a poor choice of words. Why? It's accurate. At least it's not called the end of the show. Yeah, tried that. Didn't work. Could've told him it wouldn't. Your stupid Oblivion Mirror was just the bystander effect in artifact form anyway. Legend tells of an ancient battle mech known as Robo Mechabotatron. Yeah, we kind of sort of blew that up. Wasted potential, the episode. It's like watching Orgalord. Hey, why don't we just cozy up down here until this Dominator bird gets bored and hits the bricks? And let her do the same thing to another galaxy? No way! This stops now! Funny, considering a couple episodes ago you were more than willing to pass her off to another galaxy. Major Threat, you used to be one of the worst villains around, a true galactic terror. What should we do? <gasps> Jeff's back! Let him solo Dominator. Seriously, Jeff could totally stop Dominator. He was shown to be a technopath when he took over Hater's ship, so he can just render her robot army and ship useless, then rip her armor right off her body and crush it into nothingness. He wouldn't even have to hurt her in the process. I don't know, man. All this heavy stuff is really bumming me out. Hey! Who's up for pizza? Where are you gonna order pizza from, Jeff? There's no planet left in this galaxy, and cross-galaxy pizza delivery is going to be expensive as hell. Also, this is the extent of Major Threat's involvement in the finale, so sorry if you were hoping for a reunion moment with him and Wander. Then again, we should count ourselves lucky the finale even drew attention to him. Half pineapple! No pineapple! I'm with the sock. Fruit doesn't go on pizza. Only an ex-dictator like Destructor could want that. No wonder Dominator was able to take over this galaxy. That's because she's OP. To the untrained eyeball, it may seem as though Dominator has won. Here we go. You all ready for this complete characterization 180? And using my extensive knowledge of gravity wells and thermodynamics! Is what now? Yeah, Hater has never shown to have even a lick of knowledge on planetary physics, yet suddenly he reveals to have extensive knowledge of them. I have uncovered this! A Class D planetoid emitting a minimal gravitational pull, allowing it to go undetected by Dominator. Class D? So does that mean there are other planets its size, or is it in a class all its own? Same thing with Robo Mechabotatron. And guess who's on it? Oh, great. Ha! Plot twist. Hater's super competence is only targeted towards his pursuit of Wander. We will use Wander as a distraction in order to conquer the planet, turning our greatest weakness into our greatest strength! Your greatest weakness, Haiti. Yours. Also, how did you guys even plan on doing that? I mean, Wander does end up distracting Dominator by pure coincidence, but I don't see how you guys planned on enticing him to do it if it wasn't the case. Dominator may have destroyed every other planet, but as long as there is hate in my bones, she will never get this one! This is where we make our stand and let her know that she failed! Because this planet, nay, this galaxy, belongs to the Duke of Destruction, the Monarch of Mayhem, the greatest in the galaxy, Lord Hater! Nothing to say here except that speech was freaking amazing. This guy been all season of our lives. Ah, double fourth wall break. Not only with the season of our lives joke, but Peepers is also confused by haters out of nowhere hyper competence. It looks like they're all dancing. Sylvia's trying to give herself a concussion. 
together, there is nothing in the galaxy we can't do. Yeah! So, what are we gonna do? Destroy Dominator! Yeah! Wait, the what now? Destroy Dominator! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wander's good at uniting people in Discord for the exact opposite reason he expected. We see that sword! A sword isn't gonna do shit against her anyway. I drove those guns! Ripoff's got the right idea. Also, did you know that she didn't say anything when everyone chanted, DESTROY DOMINATOR! So they didn't have to hire her VA this app? Smart move, since the rebels don't actually matter here. Deflex those packs! Muscles are even worse than a sword against her. No wonder you guys don't end up doing shit in this episode. But I thought we were gonna figure out how to stop her from being so evil! Really? Is that really what you thought? Read the fucking room, Wander. Why would you think anyone else would be on board with that strategy? There's gotta be a reason she's so mean if we could just figure that out! Have you ever considered the possibility that Dominator's characterization wasn't complex enough to give her a motive beyond I'm the bad guy? An enemy's just a friend you haven't made yet, right? Sylvia may be down with your worldview, Wander, but that doesn't mean she shares it. Pretty obvious she's the kind of hero who would rather let her fists do the talking. That's why she named them. Sometimes an enemy is... it's just an enemy. It's true. Some people just can't be reasoned with, and the only way to stop them is with force. The power of love will only get you so far. Okay, Starbella, rip off, major threat, you've all got ships. Which we don't get to see. Where are their ships anyway? How the hell did anyone even get here? The Bahalans have an army! Who couldn't even take out a troll. Neckbeard's got tons of magical weapons! Considering this planet was dominated off screen, I'm pretty sure they're all destroyed. Dumb. Stupid. Sigh. Boring! Holy shit, this is the cruelest she's ever been to her boss. Just kills them all because she's bored. That's brutal. Suggested course of action. Dominate another galaxy. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a no-brainer. Glad to see this show, once again, provides the most practical solution first. Mm, but that means starting from scratch. Meeting a bunch of new people, figuring out the right way to crush their spirits. Ugh. Well, yeah, that's kind of what you have to do when you go to a new place. What did you think was going to happen after you were done here? Oh. Right, you never thought you'd get this far. Where am I gonna find anyone as dumb and hopeful and pathetic and... Man, for someone she's never interacted with, she's super fixated on Wander. Is this a bad... <laughs> Wait, are they reusing the exact same scene as the greater hater but without Sylvia? Not the vibe I'm getting here. I mean, it's pretty fucking similar. You're not gonna have them destroy me? No. Ah! See, I knew you weren't all bad! I'm going to destroy you. Yeah, what fun would it be for her if her stupid boss just anticlimactically picked you off like that? Run. Yikes. Sir, you're on point, you're formulating strategies, you actually know the watchdog's names, this is incredible! Peepers is like a stand-in for the audience right now. <laughs> Just when you thought Hayer couldn't get any more metal. Papers, no time for distractions! Very ironic to hear that coming from Hater. Barry, Jerry, punch it! That's Awesome's rally cry. Yours is eyes up. <laughs> hey, get back here! She's not even shooting at him. She's shooting the sides of him. Sylvia! Oh, thank crap! Why does she have a sword through her back? <laughs> Whoa, that was intense. Damn. <laughs> oh, the look <laughs> on your face! <laughs> Sylvia, no! <laughs> wow, that was cold. And also the most interesting thing you've ever done with your ice powers. That's right, a sadistic prank is the apex of her new ability's utility. <laughs> your friend! Now this was the point where I thought Wander was done with Dominator. Like, 
Fuck it, Sylvie and the others were right. You're a lost cause. Look how pissed he is. Why are you like this? Cause she's the bad guy. That's pretty much what her motivation boils down to. Complex, huh? Everyone else is out there trying to destroy you, but I figured there's good way deep down in everyone. Except for Screwball. And speaking of which, if you're wondering why the other villains aren't here to help, the crew said they were too cowardly to stand up to Dominator. And also the crew wanted Hater to have the glory of stopping Dominator. Oh, spoilers. If you just tell me what's ailing you, maybe I can help you out. Psychology isn't that simple, Wander. The first hurdle is trying to convince that person why they feel they can trust you with their innermost vulnerabilities. And that's just for people who aren't villains. Wow. I gotta thank you. Is she really going to... No, no, no. This is too simple and straightforward. This isn't how things are going to be resu- Ah. You said everyone else was trying to destroy me. That means they're still out there. Eh, I mean, you're right, Dominator, but the way you reach that conclusion doesn't make sense. Wander's friends have been wanting to destroy you all season long. And the way Wander worded it, he could just be talking in past tense. Where are they? Dominator's trying the Batman interrogation tactic. You have nothing to threaten Wander with, Dom. Nothing to do with all of your strength. It's just little old me, so you better hurry up and destroy me now, please! Thank you! That's honorable of you to try and sacrifice yourself like that, Wander, but it's too late. You're already donked up big time. Bots! Scan him! Why did only one come? She said bots. Right in his eyes? That's gotta hurt the poor guy's retinas. And I guess the soldier bots are capable of holographic projections just like the drones. There's another planet to dominate? And it's full of your weird little pals? She's really into throwing Wander like a fucking ragdoll. She did it in the Battle Royale, too. I just wanted to help you. Oh, you were a big help, friend. Yeah, you just helped her in all the wrong ways. First the Rebels, now Dominator. You're zero for two in this app. Epic flail. Didn't know the back of Jeff's head had those veins too. That's all you got, neckbeard? Gloves? A sniper rifle. Nice. Mac belt buckles. A viking helmet is a bit out of nowhere. Spears aren't gonna do much good against robots. Oh wow, Destructor's actually using his sock like a sock. Ah, now those chompers can chew through bots, as we've seen. What? What is that exactly? It looks like part of a gimp suit. Why are you wearing a mask? You're a chicken. Even Cosmo knows how stupid that is. I'm a monkey in a mask! Why does a monkey need a secret identity? So nobody knows I'm a monkey? Should my tail have a mask? Work boots? Is that something the so-and-so? Whoa, it is! He's got a buzzsaw beanie. That's the coolest thing in this montage. Damn, those are like freaking bear claws. They're also coming out of the top of Mittens' foot rather than between the paws. What are we gonna do? I think that's her bandit gear, as seen in The Waste of Time. Destroy Dominator! Whoa, even Jeff is willing to destroy her. And I see the other rebels are packing too. The Black Cube has got a grenade, Dracor has a bazooka strapped to his head like he's some kind of shark, one of the Flandarians is trying to go all cloud, something the so-and-so taking a cue from that one episode of Gumball and using a spoon, and Beza is rocking it street style with a baseball bat. Hold on, Beza is here? Does... does that mean Dominator? Did Dominator kill Buster? Sure, he doesn't have any Volcanium X in him, so there would be no reason to, but Dominator would totally kill a space puppy. I'm gonna pretend that Buster got scared by all the destruction and ran away. Sorry! Don't put your finger on the trigger unless you're going to use it. That's gun safety 101, bitch. I mean, we can't just waltz up and punch her ship, you know? Too bad Saitama isn't part of the Rebels. Wander, you've snuck onto her ship more than anyone. Do you have any bright ideas? You're asking for Wander's input on how to destroy someone? You'd get a more useful answer out of something the so-and-so. There's no place left in the galaxy except... Oh, no! Whoa, that was fast. And hold the fuck up. What the hell? The small Dombots can fly too? There has never been any hint of that. Now they really look like eyeballs. Life's a mess. Hi. Whoa, her ice actually obeys the laws of thermodynamics, yet her lava doesn't? It is you who should be worried, Lord Dominator! Oh, almost forgot about Hater. 
Also, that's a really awesome shot. You can steal my planets. You can capture my enemy. You can even break up with me. You realize we were never dating. Shh. Let him live in this delusion that you guys tried it and it didn't work out. We don't want him lapsing back into the low point of the saga. <laughs> Holy shit, that looks so fucking hardcore that you barely even notice it's just a mirrored image. Alright, now let's see what the Skull Crusher can do to- Fuck! That was like an abridged version of the Robo Mechabotatron. And not even his out of nowhere badass characterization could save Hader from being curb stomped by Dominator. <laughs> oh look, she's got friends on the other side. <laughs> Ah, I gotta get one last moment of dark humor out of Dominator, eh? Please stop this! It's terrible! And emotionally exhausting! Yeah, and stop jerking off that lever, you'll break it in half. And Cartoon Logic dictates that if you break a lever in half, whatever it was operating will go into overdrive, even though the only thing the lever itself does is provide the user with an accessible way to operate the machine. Even if that machine had no lever, that would have no effects on its inner workings, so in theory, the machine would work the exact same way. Grab the subordinate! God, that line gave me chills. <laughs> Flap dress and tin cans! Oh, she's become strong enough that she can fight the smaller Dombots barehanded. A lot of good that did her, but still. <laughs> Shit, I can't believe Dominator is going to gore Sylvia with her drill just to try and break Wander's spirit. That's really dark, even for her. I destroy your best friend and I watch you cry. Is it unsettling that I like that line more than the song's original version? Probably has to do with her singing it in her armor. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a heartbreaking expression. <laughs> and here we go! Are you ready for this, folks? This. This right here is the highlight of the episode and serves as a reminder of just how powerful Lord Hater is. He created a barrier around the entire fucking planet which wasn't even necessary, and totally halted the momentum of a drill that cracks planets open like an egg. <laughs> and not just Hater, but the Watchdogs too? They can one-shot Dombots now? Fucking Watchdogs can one-shot Dombots? You guys saved my life? Don't get used to it! This is a one-time stop the batter bad guy thing! Well, so much for that promise you guys made at the end of the Robo Mecha Botatron. Damn, Sylvia's salty spittoon level tough, since she's got muscles on her muscles. <laughs> eh, not as hardcore as when Peepers cut open that bounty hunter with his helmet, but still pretty cool. How is this idiot doing this? He's a terrible bad guy! Wow, and he even crashed Dominator's computer in the process. <laughs> Well, convenient enough that that Dombot happens to be operational enough for her to do the cheesy bad guy self-projection thing. <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm actually winning! Hell yeah! And I think you would have won in the Battle Royale too, but your boner got in the way. What exactly do you think is gonna happen here? Um, I'm gonna... <clears throat> stop you? That's all it takes for you to start doubting yourself, hater? Dominator just asking you what you're doing? Even if you could, you'd still be a joke! The lamest in the galaxy. Just a dopey, self-centered jerk that nobody has ever or will ever respect. Damn, she's really preying on his insecurities. You are literally the worst villain ever. And those were literally the worst mouth movements ever. When a character drags out a word, you need to slow down their phonemes accordingly. Hates great. Best villain. Get ready for this. Here comes the absolutely greatest part in the episode, and quite possibly the whole damn show. <laughs> Not that part. I just wanted to show the low budget one frame way she puts up her armor. <laughs> Aw, he's finally getting the respect, appreciation, and recognition he's always wanted. 
finish her. <laughs> Boom! How do you like that, Dominator? God, this part was so fucking awesome when I first saw it that it actually gave me tears of joy. And that's not something that happened to me since the battle against the Final Hazard in Sonic Adventure 2. How is this happening? They're, they're just a bunch of goofy idiots! Well, yeah, that's kind of what this show is. Why are you so shocked by that? You're like Psycho Man in that two-hour episode of DSBT Insanity that nobody watched where he slowly realizes he's in a comedy series rather than an action series. Bots! Help me! <laughs> The animators did an awesome job animating those glitching out bots. I have Sylvia, Lord Hater has peepers in the watchdogs, but you're all alone up here. Get ready, because this is why The Night Out was such an important episode. I've got lots of friends! Uh, bot 79, Bot 108, Bot 13. No, wait, I blew up Bot 13. Now I'm wondering if Wander connected the dots when she said that, because he only knew Bot 13 as Beep Boop. You could have destroyed us when you first showed up. When we put on that concert for you, heck, you spent a whole night out with Syl. Oh my grop, is this show actually providing an in-universe explanation as to why the bad guy never just quickly kills the heroes? But you didn't, because you like hanging around us, even if it is in a rock or I'm gonna kill you, eh? Well, if that's the case, then I wouldn't call that hanging out. She's just keeping you guys alive because she's a psycho who wants to torment you all for as long as possible. Only Wander could find a way to put a positive spin on being a sadist. That's why you're such a bully. You're lonely. And there you have it, folks. Dominator is just lonely. She loves what she does, but she doesn't have any friends. And I feel no sympathy for her because it's so stupid. You spend your time destroying planets and tormenting people, so of fucking course you're gonna be lonely. It's completely self-defeating. I'll destroy you! Oof, that really didn't line up well. I mean, Wander just said, Rarg, I'm gonna kill you, yet she can't say it? Where does this show draw the line between destroy and kill? So is that armchair psychology lesson really worth dying over, Wander? Come on, guys. This is Wander over fucking Yonder. Everyone knows damn well Wander isn't gonna die. You're wasting your time with this drama. I gotta wonder, is that lightning around the Orbal just residual power from Lord Hater's attack, or did he have a hand in saving them? What? Why did you save me? I, I tried to kill you. Like, a lot. What the hell? And now she can say kill instead of destroy? Where is the line drawn here? Sure, you sort of tried to destroy him, so there'll be a few awkward dinner parties, but if they can cheer for him, they can accept anybody. Uh, I don't think so, Wander. I'm not sure why you're setting Hater as the lowest bar of villainy, considering his evil just stems from his insecurities. There's a huge difference between accepting a villain who just saved the fucking galaxy to a villain who destroyed the fucking galaxy. Besides, not everyone is as forgiving as you are. You'd be surprised what you can grow from a little bit of kindness. Holy shit, that plant works fast. And I love the irony that Dominator is responsible for that. Had she not tried to destroy Wander and Sylvia, the plant spores wouldn't have spread. Now I wonder if, in Season 3, would all the planets be like jungles, or do we go back to status quo like we're about to do with Hater in a few seconds? It's never too late for a fresh start. I don't know, galactic destruction might be where I draw the line on that offer, but that's just me. Hello to you! Folks call me Wander. That's my pal Sylvia. Welcome to the galaxy! Hello friend, don't know where you're bound. Welcome to the incredible shrinking town. Is she gonna do it? It looks like she's considering. Oh my grop, I think she's did I. You guys are so weird. I'm leaving. Didn't want to destroy your goofy little galaxy anyway. You're all a bunch of dorks. Wow, a tantrum fit for Lord Hater. She'd rather leave with nothing but the clothes on her back, literally, rather than take up the offer of friendship. 
Although honestly, I'm glad she wasn't redeemed. One of Dominator's major roles was she challenged Wanderer's worldview, and if he was able to turn her so quickly, that would cheapen that part of her character. However, if the crew wanted her to turn, I'm sure they'd find a way to do it without making it feel like a cop-out. I'm taking this because I'm hungry, not because we're friends! Spoken like a true tsundere, Dom. Buddy, I am so sorry I doubted you. You were totally right! Well, I don't know about that. I really thought I could make a new friend. Now this scene kind of bothers me for two reasons. First off, all the characters in the background just staring makes the whole thing really awkward and kind of creepy. Second off, why is Sylvia telling Wander he is right? He wasn't. Dominator denied his offer of friendship. Even Wander is confused by why she said that. The only explanation I can think is she was referring to Hater, not Dominator. A galaxy of new planets. For me. Oh, is Hater going to finally turn? I mean, it would make sense since he gets respect and recognition for being a good guy rather than a bad, and that would wrap a really nice bow on this sh- Okay, I can't keep this up. He rejects it and we're back to status quo. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> wow. Okay, just in case there was any doubt about Peepers' feelings for Hater, that right there should put them to rest. Not even Wander has gazed hearts at Hater before. And this seems to be a thing for cartoons these days, confirming what characters are gay in the finale. Gravity Falls did it, The Legend of Korra did it, Adventure Time did it, and now Wander Over Yonder pretty much did it. Nothing, Nothing ever changes. changes. Yeah, it's status quo. Blame Disney for not giving the crew enough of a heads up to resolve Hater's change of heart this season instead of the non-existent next one. I do love the way it ends with the camera zooming out like a parallel to the theme song. Also, I don't know if it's just being drawn at an angle or something, but it looks like the skull ship is smiling. Sure, it looks kind of creepy, but I wonder if that entails something for Hater. Ugh, oh, come on, stupid friendship orange. Dumb peel. Bunch of dorks! Look at Dominator being all tundere. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Don't tease me like that, credits. Nothing is going to become of Monkey Boy. You're just toying with my heart. Well, that was season two, and I definitely preferred it over the first one. Season 1 was still good and has its own merits, but Season 2 just improved upon literally everything in the show. And I'm not just saying that because it introduced an overarching plot. It gave Hater and Peepers some more focus, delved into the past and motivation of the cast, introduced interesting new characters, and raised the stakes of the show without losing its heart. Now Season 3 the crew has been very hush-hush about, probably because they hope the show can be brought back, which I agree with that sentiment. Besides Monkey Boy and the pirate ship, they said this season was going to bring the main four together in interesting ways, and we would have had more episodes like the Robo Mechabotatron in terms of them interacting. It was going to be set up the same way as season two, with a four part saga that spans across the length of the season dealing with a new villain. All they said about this villain was that they are an even bigger threat than Dominator, and rather than exploiting people's weaknesses like she did, this villain would exploit people's strengths. Dominator herself would still be a major character in the show, and life for her was going to get worse before it gets better. Season 2 was all about testing Hater. This season would have been all about testing Wander. It would have delved into the past of the main four even further, and it would have expanded on the fact that Peepers is more serious about evil than Hater is. They had future plans for a number of other characters, such as Stella Sarbell in Mittens, Demura and Dracor's family, Emperor Awesome, Major Threat, and even fucking Neckbeard. Hopefully they would have thrown Ripoff into that pile after a surprising popularity, and Screwball too due to his apparently surprising popularity. Wander Over Yonder was a show unlike any other. In a world of cynicism and dread, it shined like a beacon with its fun and positivity. People needed a show like Wander Over Yonder, and people have said it helped them through tough times in life. And there just aren't many shows that can give off that kind of vibe without seeming cringy or talking down to the audience. It had really fluid and lively animation, and captured the Looney Tunes vibe extremely well. It had a lovable and entertaining cast, even the villains were great, and with the exception of The Helper, it really didn't have an episode that's outright bad. 
Yet despite all these wonderful qualities, it was cancelled just when it was rising in popularity and really reaching its true potential. It was just too good for this sinful world, I guess. Yet the messages of hope and lending a hand have really resonated with the fan base, since the Save W.O.Y. movement is still going on. The crew has moved on to their own projects, and this show may not have the cult following that something like Invader Zim or Samurai Jack had, but still, I think, maybe, one day, this show will wander into our galaxy again.